Welcome, Evan, to season six of the Untitled Podcast. Welcome. How are you? I am <clears throat> pretty much the same. Pretty much the same? Yes. Uh, I'm glad I was able to uh, edit everything beforehand, and uh, we're recording uh, pretty much on schedule, which is good. Yeah. Because a couple times in the past... Uh, we recorded without anything ready except like the segment ideas. But now well, I've got everything ready. We got segment ideas this time too. So yeah. And ev- all the sounds and shit. I don't think I'm going to do the share video again. I think I'm just going to do audio. Um, Cause okay. it's fucking, it's less effort and it's less everything. But, how was your week, Evan? What have you done? Um, snowed a lot. I moved a lot of snow. Um, That's right. Like over the weekend, we probably got like a one and a half to two feet, which I guess isn't crazy. But I mean, for like very early October, it was more than we were expecting. So, oh, what are you crinkling? Uh. I was unpacking. Oh, the, oh, they oh. can't see this, but you know what it is. Oh, yes, I know. Does it <laughs> suck to, to shovel snow? I've never, ever had to shovel snow before. Uh, It does kind of suck because it's cold out. But if you Do don't you sweat, it's, so it's cold out. But like you're also working hard because the snow is heavy. So mm. you get hot and then you have to take clothes off and then you get cold and they have to put clothes back on. And or or you can choose to sweat, but that's not very fun either. Freezes so. on your body. Yep. It's it's a, a annoyance. That sucks. Uh, this week, I haven't really done much. I've mostly been staying home. I've mostly been working on the fucking segment transitions and and sounds and everything. Uh, I did go out and work a little bit. I did some DoorDash, um, but not too much. So, okay, it wasn't bad. It was all right. It was pretty normal. Uh, so we have three new segments. What? Which one would you like to do first? Um. Well, I'm still shuffling the movie quiz one. Okay. Um, let, let me talk about my drink so I can start drinking it. Okay. This is also uh, your your drink segment is called Have a Drink with Evan. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone has been watching for an extended amount of time, which I know you probably haven't, I used to do a segment called Evan's Quote of the Day, and it was really short. This is going to be along the lines of the length of that. Oh. Uh, maybe a little longer, okay? Today, I made this drink. Um, it's hard to tell with the current light. That looks like straight but, up lime uh, juice. It is, it is very green. So, uh, let me see what it's called. I got the recipe from this book. That I like. I have a couple books. What is it called? called? The Japanese Slipper. The drink is the uh, Japanese Slipper. That is what it is named in this book. It's one and two third ounces of gold tequila, one ounce of melon liqueur. So I used Midori. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, two thirds ounce of lime juice and a dash of simple syrup. And I generally like things with melon liqueur in it, so I figured I would like this, and I was correct. Uh, It's um, like you can definitely taste the tequila, but it's not strong, and there's like a good balance. So I would recommend. And that that was my drink. Should we do like a uh, like another point system, like like a. Oh, like a like a rating system. Do you want to do that? If okay, we, if you want to. Yeah, yeah, we can. So, just know that this rating system isn't going to be objective, right? 
because I'm tasting it. So it's going to be very subjective to my personal taste. Um, I think we should have um, like we should do like a scale of one to ten, but a s- the scale is based like a scale of one to ten for your rec like if you recommend it or not. Like a one would be you do not want people to ever drink this ever again, and a ten would be you need to go out and make this yourself. Okay, so um, I know tequila is a controversial li- liquor, depending on... I know lots of people either like it or they won't drink it at all. So if you like the taste of tequila, I would try... Uh, I would give us like a seven. I would say, yeah, try and make it. You, okay. You'll probably enjoy it. Christian, I would recommend you make it. I had a shot of Jim Bean whiskey the other day, and it was awful. Well, this doesn't taste like a shot of Jim Bean whiskey. So I don't know <laughs> in if any way. I'm uh, really going to like any alcohol. Unless it's Fat Tuesdays, because I really like slushies, and that shit's <laughs> awesome. But, yeah, interesting. Well, thank you, Evan, for sharing. your What was, what was it called? A uh, Japanese slipper, I believe. A Japanese slipper. And this yep. has been Evan. Uh, have a drink with Evan. I picked that little tune because it sounds like like a, like an old uh, like a cowboy saloon bar where there's that guy in the corner playing the piano. Yeah. Yeah. So next up, oh shit! There's that 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 that, that the thing. Um, so we could either do the higher low game or the movie quiz. I was, I'm well. I picked the first one, so I'm gonna let you pick the second one. What do you want? Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go with the high and low game. Because I because I think it it probably will go by faster than the movie quiz. So, really, you think so? Yeah. Because if okay. if somebody fails it, then we just move on. It de- like it depends if we if we keep getting the the right answers. But anyway, this is high or low. The higher lower game, uh, Google says it's a frustrate, frustratingly addictive game of higher or lower using Google searches. Uh, the data is based on global monthly searches in 2017. So you have to uh, decide whether something was searched more or less than the item that you guessed on uh, in 2017, basically. Would you like to do classic or beat the clock? Uh, let's go classic. Okay, so Noah's Ark had 246,000 average monthly searches. Is YouTube higher or lower YouTube than Noah's Ark? YouTube is higher. YouTube had Are way sure? higher, that, more searches than answer? Noah's Ark. Yes. YouTube had more searches than Noah's Ark. <laughs> that is correct. It had... Thank Jesus. Oh, Thank Noah. One one point six billion Holy average shit. searches. Okay, now okay. there's got to be something more popular than YouTube, right? Uh, oh. Or it can be lower. So oh, does I liposuction see. have higher or lower searches than YouTube? Liposuction has lower searches than YouTube. That is correct. It Thank has 201,000 uh, Oh, I thought you were just going to say 201. So the okay. first, when we tested this segment before... Uh, recording this i failed very quickly and this is the farthest i've gone so far three yeah you got a score of two. Oh, i thought it was three whatever no okay uh that's that's how well i can count does lipo so li- liposuction with two hundred and one thousand average monthly searches does dating websites is that higher or lower Ooh, shit dating websites 
I'm going to say dating websites have a higher search than liposuction. That is wrong. Oh, <laughs> shit. Wow. 73,000 compared to uh, 201. Uh, you scored two. That is a terrible score. The okay. average score on my computer is 3.2. Put Oh, no. The average score overall is 3.2. Put some effort into it, Christian. That is what it's telling me. So the average Gee, score thanks. for the average human is 3.2, and you scored two. So uh, it is now your turn. Lovely. Thank you for <laughs> such encouragement. Okay, do you want to go classic or beat the clock? Uh, classic. Classic. Okay. Chris Benoit is a wrestler, apparently. He has okay. 165,000 average monthly searches versus okay. Street Fighter 5. Uh, I'm going to so go with Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter has 5 higher. has a higher search has a, than this. That's what I'm going to guess. I have no idea who it is. Yeah, I've never heard of him. Wrong. You already failed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just, re just restart. Just restart. Yes, since, wow. The fucking gif they play is a chihuahua falling off a couch. They have a lot of gifts. Yes. Okay, let's play that again since you instantly failed. Okay. Indian Ocean Tsunami has 18,000 monthly searches versus okay. the old... Trayford. I don't know what that is. The old what? Old Trayford. Uh, I'm gonna go with the tsunami has more. So this, so old Trayford has lower searches. Yeah. Wrong again. <laughs> the old Trayford okay, had well, way like more searches than. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I don't I've know either. The picture kind of kind of looked like an amusement park, but not really. Okay, we'll try this one more time, Evan. <laughs> Does poverty? <laughs> okay, poverty has two hundred and one thousand monthly searches. Does poverty okay. have more searches than Budweiser? No, Budweiser has more. Budweiser Absolutely. has a higher search. Yes, correct. Budweiser has 301,000 <laughs> monthly searches. 100,000 more than poverty. The picture they had for poverty was very funny. It was... Okay. I'm not going to say what it was because it might be kind of fucked up, but it was kind of funny. Okay, next. Does Budweiser have a higher search than meditation? Uh, No. So meditation has a lower. No, meditation has higher. Oh, meditation has higher monthly searches. Let's see. Correct. Budweiser had 300,000. Meditation has almost 700,000 monthly searches. Okay. Okay. Meditation with 673,000 monthly searches. Does that have more or less searches than Doberman, the dog? I'm going to go with it has less searches than Doberman. Meditation. Wait. So Doberman has lower. Has more. More. Sorry. Doberman has more. My, oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'm, and you <laughs> failed. Doberman had 200,000. Okay. okay. We're done with this. I need to learn how to phrase my myself when i play this game but did you win no no i lost good you got yay straight off the bat <laughs> okay this i i need to, to hopefully work we myself. get better because yes. jesus christ <laughs> okay this has been high or low <laughs> it's a little loud on my I don't know how how we're going to do a whole season of that. We need to get better. I mean, mostly me, but is that a Doberman? So, so is that what? 
I heard a Doberman. Oh yeah, Doberman walked into my room. Let's see. Um. Okay, you ready to do the next one? Yes. Please introduce the the next segment. The next segment is the movie quiz. This was a, originally a card game that you played in person, but we have shipped half the cards to where I live, and we are going to ask ourselves. Uh, well, we're going to ask each other questions about uh, movie trivia. Beautiful. <laughs> are your ears okay? No. <laughs> it's that's fine on my end. Really? It's yeah. It's so loud for me. It's like <laughs> really, really bad. But anyways, yes, this is m- the movie quiz. We're kind of taking uh, uh, the movie review segment and the BuzzFeed quiz and smashing them together. And they made a little baby. And that's this movie quiz segment. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, we'll try this out. See how long this takes. But two cards each. So four questions. Okay. So if we do two cards each every episode we're gonna be left with a bunch of cards at the end too okay well we don't have to finish them all i'm just saying okay i have not shuffled my cards yet i'm doing that currently okay um while you're shuffling would you like me to ask you a question yes okay also, I'm this gonna interrupt is you right before you start talking Okay. We should do another point system where whoever has the most amount of points or whoever gets the most amount of questions right, they win something. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Continue. Maybe. Sorry for interrupting so many times. Uh, this is from the science fiction segment. <laughs> what is Thor's home planet? Thor's home planet is Asgard. That is correct. <laughs> Good job. So I get, I get one point. Yes, you're not going to get this next one. I'm going to assume the white one is the easy question and the red one's the hard. Uh, The red one, the red question on this card is what's the name of Ray's store in Ghostbusters 2? (laughs) I first have a question. Who's Ray? (laughs) Okay. Uh, Ray's store. Um, I'm gonna say uh, I know this is gonna be wrong. I want uh, Quick Mart. Nope, it's Ray's occult. Oh, so you got you got one question right from this one. Uh, one right out of now. While you're still part? shuffling, yeah, we're moving to the action category. Or should we do like which one card each and go back and forth? Uh, are you done or, shuffling? I'm, yeah, I'm done shuffling. Okay. Or you do you want to do like we each do both our cards first and then the next person does their cards? Or what? I don't care. You can go. Okay. Go. Go. Okay, so I'm picking two. Well, well, of course I'm picking two. My first card is from the action category. Your first question is, in the James Bond movies, what does the character Q's initial stand for? Uh, Quartermaster. Damn, ding, ding, ding. You got that right. Holy shit. I would not have guessed that. (laughs) Okay, so that was the white side. The red side's question is, Skull Island was a reboot of which movie franchise? Uh, King Kong. Yes, correct. You got both questions right, leaving you at two points. Oh, yeah. Shit. Um, (laughs) I mean, I can still recover. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. If if you fuck up on the next card... You can still technically beat me. Yep. If you fuck up on the next card, and if I get all the, the next cards right, then yes, I could. Okay. I'm uh, you get one of these questions right, I feel like. Uh, so the first question is, in which film would you hear the phrase, I feel the need, 
the need for speed. I would not get this correct. Speed. I haven't seen this movie. I have not seen this movie. I'm so. going to say Need for Speed. That's a video game. That's also a movie. Okay, well, that is not correct. No? It is shit. Top Gun. <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure there's a Need for Speed movie with Aaron Paul. Shit. There might be. I don't know. I haven't seen it. So that one, that was okay. an action part. Uh, this is a actually you might get this because you know actors uh, Tim Roth has had roles in three Quentin Tarantino movies name one of them I don't know who Tim Roth is okay well I know Quentin Tarantino hasn't made that many movies so you have to name one of them out of three oh, shit I'm gonna say Reservoir Dogs that is one of the ones on the card. Good. One of the options were Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, and Four Rooms. So you got think, two questions correct overall. We're I think I right know now. who that is. I think so. Okay, Evan, your your final card is from General Trivia. I'm gonna okay. Ask, I'm going to ask you the white side first. Which Which hard-hitting 2003 cult movie tracked the lives of two American adolescent girls. Is that all it says? Yeah. I can reread okay, the just question. So, just so want. people know. Um, cult movies are a difficult one because you either know about them or you don't. Um, and I wasn't... I, I was three in 2003. So... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I have absolutely no clue. Is it a I movie will, you think I would know? No. I mean, maybe Kira might uh, have made you watch it, but I, I have no idea. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, can you reread re it again? Yes, I'll reread the question. Which hard-hitting 2003 cult movie tracked the lives of two American adolescent girls? Hey, I'm gonna look hey. I'm looking to look up and see if this movie was made in 2003. If it if it was, I'm going to guess this movie. If it wasn't, then I lose this uh, this question. Mm. Um, I think you're slightly cheating somehow. God, I totally forget that. If you get this right, I will eat a brick. Okay, it's not what I thought. So I have no clue. Okay. The movie is 13. I I have not seen that. Yeah, I I might I was have guess Parent Trap, but that is uh, uh well, that was not made in 2003, so. Yeah. Okay. Your next question is on the red side. Which downtown which Okay, I'm going to say I'm going to reread that. Which Downton Abbey star was behind oh, the God fur damn. and horns in Disney's live action film Beauty and the Beast? Okay. I'm awful with actors, so you, you got me on this one. Uh, I have no clue. The answer is Dan Stevens. <laughs> I don't even so know who that tied. is. We tied. Fuck. That's no fun. Kara might have been able to get that one. Because she has watched Downtown Abbey. I have a lot of general trivia cards. I think next time... Um, Dude, gen general trivia is going to be tough. All right, so I don't have any. So I, I cannot give you general trivia cards. So what, what categories do you have? I have action, I have general trivia, and classics. So, so next time okay. I'm going to pick a general trivia and a, a classic one. I have action, science fiction, comedy, and horror. You have four categories? I do. What the hell? I only have three. I thought you would have had the same amount of categories. I want to show everybody. These are what the cards look like on the front. And I'm going to show the two we've already used. These are what they look like on the back. So there's a white side 
and a red side. And this has been the movie quiz. These segments are going by fairly quickly. So, thank I don't goodness. Know if Our podcast was originally designed to be 30 minutes. So, yes. Um, <laughs> this is actually working well. So, well, that concludes this episode of the brand new season. So, thank you for watching and listening. Uh, that's it. That's, uh, I don't that's know if next time you. we'll try to talk more. I are don't these. Know. Are these ones going to be on video on YouTube? Yes. Check us out on Anchor first. And if you like our voices that much, watch the video because there's some cool graphics and stuff that Christian put a lot of hard work into. Yes. And I watch do. us on YouTube after you watch us on Anchor. Listen to it twice, maybe even three times, possibly four. Why not? <laughs>